How do widgets become pixels in Flutter? When you write Flutter code, it can feel like magic. You describe some widgets, run your app, and suddenly there's a polished UI on your screen. But widgets themselves are not the UI. They're just descriptions, blueprints of what you want to see. Those blueprints get turned into one of two kinds of elements. Component element, which manages the build cycle and can host other elements, or render object element which connects to the underlying render object that issues the drawing commands on the screen. From there, the actual work happens in render objects. These are the core objects responsible for painting pixels to the screen. Most of them are built on RenderBox, which follows Flutter's box constraint model to determine things like size and position. Slivers use a variation of this, but the principle is the same. The rendering pipeline then runs in three main stages. Layout, figure out where each render object goes and how big it should be. Paint. Record drawing commands like draw this text or fill this rectangle. Composition and rasterization. Pass those commands to Skia or to Impeller and newer versions of Flutter to actually turn them into pixels on your display. This entire process is efficient enough to repeat up to 120 times per second on modern high refresh displays. Every frame, Flutter reruns this pipeline to keep your UI responsive and smooth. So the next time you see a button or an animation in Flutter, remember what's really happening. Widgets describe intent, elements organize the structure, render objects handle the heavy lifting, and finally, the renderer turns it all into pixels. Modern technology is remarkable. If you want to learn Flutter and become an exceptional developer, visit HungryMind.com.